Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Monday the 22nd of November 2021. Thanks for joining me. It's a pleasure to be with you today as always. I'm going to use the Herbal Tarot again today. I've used this deck quite a lot recently and I'm really enjoying it at the moment. So I want to see what the Herbal Tarot has to say about Monday the 22nd. So let's see what that is. I hope you've had a wonderful weekend. And for Monday, the first card is Mistletoe, the Five of Swords. Okay. Alfalfa. Okay, the King of Pentacles. And Mugwort, the Five of Pentacles. Okay. So let's see what the cards are trying to say here. So first of all, just kind of scanning them. We've got the Five of Swords, which is serious conflict. And it's someone behaving in a very inconsiderate way that's designed to make them feel better at the expense of someone else. And then we've got the Five of Pentacles as well, which talks about difficult relationships because it's rejection and it's ill health and it's tough times and being isolated and at the center we have the king of pentacles looking very serene and looking kind of blank and no one could hurt this guy ever he, well or at least he looks like he wouldn't take an insult too seriously or that if someone didn't want to spend time with him i don't really see him dissolving into a puddle of tears so the message is that you are grounded and you know who you are, you're protected, you've got a good life. So if anything comes up which is unpleasant or if you feel is unjust, the message is don't read too much into that and come back to self, to the things that do feel good, the circumstances that make you feel comfortable and serene. And also I'm getting look at the relationships that are comfortable and serene and try and minimize the the relationships that don't work oh no don't minimize them so don't ignore it and turn your back what you're actually getting today is the ability to see certain relationships for how they truly are and you're able to see how much you've been working in those relationships and whether that work is justified or whether you're just wasting your time. So you get to a place of understanding about certain relationships, particularly ones that seem to be rosy and peachy and hunky-dory, but you suddenly see it for what it is now. And for instance, you realize that you've been putting in all the work, you've been going over to their house and seeing them all the time, but when it comes to them coming to your house, so that you can make them a meal, it doesn't happen. So some sort of um, veil is lifted from your eyes so that you see a relationship for what it truly is. So this groundedness is more metaphorical because you're so comfortable and at ease within yourself that you can look at situations and not say, oh, well, they treated me badly today. Maybe it was because I was five minutes late or because you know, I come from a different cultural background or something, so I should just take it. You genuinely see what's their stuff and what's your stuff. And there's very little emotion attached to it. And you're able to make a very good, you're able to come to a very good understanding with yourself whether something is genuinely unfair and you're being done to or whether it's just a coincidence or a circumstance that you don't need to pay too much attention to, or you get proof that this person is now actually giving me evidence that I can rely on them and that they do make me feel safe and secure. This is someone I want to keep around. What's funny here with this card is that the Five of Swords is, is genuine difficulty when it comes to people interacting and some really unpleasant stuff coming out of that. And I think it's quite funny that they put mistletoe here to just say, kiss and make up. <laughs> you know, like if you're standing under the mistletoe at Christmas, just have a kiss, hug it out, it'll all get better. So I'm going to take that message from the card. <clears throat> 
And I suppose if you're gonna try and boil that down, just, you know, kiss and make up, I suppose the message is don't take, don't take things overly, don't read into them, don't take them too seriously. Ask yourself, is this opinion really valuable? Like if, if someone is bullying me at a party or something for no reason, is it really worth my time to call them on it and to educate them and to say, this is not how you behave? Or can I just shrug my sh shoulders, ignore it and move on to someone else who's more interesting or more polite? And that's the message I'm getting, that keep it simple, only engage with the things that um, bring you a sense of ease and joy. And if someone does treat you in a way that you dislike, don't go into like delusion about it and ignore it, but believe what's happening and say, okay, this is how you're going to treat me. I believe you. This is how you behave. Fine. I feel comfortable within myself, but I'm certainly not going to pursue this. The King of Pentacles next is, because it's a court card, it's either a person who appears in your life or it's a quality you feel yourself. And I think today is both. So you'll see someone in your life who appears very reliable and, and, and very much someone who is a positive influence and all of those things. And the recognition again today is enough for you to believe that and to say, okay, we are friends now. I am going to let you into my inner circle. Or it could be this quality of being super grounded and understanding that this has nothing to do with me. This is about you. So with this, I get the sense that you're able to make fabulous decisions. You can believe your, your um, gut feelings, your intuition about circumstances and other people. And you can trust your gut. If it has nothing to do with you, then it's very likely that it really does have nothing to do with you. Finally, Mugwort, the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is about getting kicked out of the church and having to struggle on by yourself. And um, it's the same thing. It's if a group of people kick you out and they don't want you to live there anymore, then don't try and change their mind. Believe them. You've grown apart. There's, it's not a good match. People are free to feel the way they do and you're free to feel the way you do. And that acceptance leads to the King of Pentacles where you can still focus on your passion projects and be very productive, but you're protected in some way from undue influences which are just designed to make you feel bad, to reduce you in size, and you're able to let go of that and to create the things that you want instead. Okay, so let's look at the herbs, mistletoe, the five of swords. Realization of defeat, need to regain composure and inner peace after the fray. Realization that there are no winners in war. So fabulous. You don't bother with the negative stuff. Instead, you go to a place of inner peace. Alfalfa, the king of pentacles. Man over 35, okay. Business-like, responsible, rigid, organized, and conservative. A man of means and worldly accomplishments, wise in the way of the world, a fatherly figure. So you're able to parent yourself and all this, the responsible, rigid, organized, conservative. You need that sometimes to make sense of your feelings and to be grounded and to say, I'm going to look at this conservatively and to say, do you know what? I really think I am right this organization wasn't justified in throwing me out. I'm going to believe that they simply don't see me for who I am. And I'm going to go find my tribe elsewhere. Thank you. And then finally, Mugwort. Mugwort? Award. Misfortune, being thrown back on oneself and discovering innate capabilities. Exactly. Exactly. So both of them are saying that. You discover so much about yourself and who you are that you don't need to buy into being gaslit or bullied or hurt or whatever it may be. It's not going to throw you. It's not going to confuse you or make life difficult. You, you really transcend it and rise above it. Take the high road. 
Exactly. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Oh wait, number wise, we've got five and five is 10 and one is 11. 11 is the master number of service. And the, the true service is that you can free yourself of situations that fundamentally do not work. And first of all, you're able to recognize what doesn't work. And then you can walk away from it and feel a sense of freedom rather than a sense of rejection. Because you agree, you realize that this isn't going to happen for you. You don't like it. You don't like the tone, the attitude, the rules, whatever it may be. And you own that and say, well, maybe we're just going to have to agree to disagree here. Thank you. So a very sober kind of approach to life. I like it. I hope you have a fabulous day. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your reading to audio reading with me. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Please hit subscribe and share the video online. Have an amazing day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.